Rider 19s that I had last year. Not as flashy in colour, so last year it was sort of black on grey with the yellow just above the sole. Um, but I find the support through the front a lot better. Bought them with my own money, so I haven't been sponsored in any way to say any of this sort of stuff. But I reckon the Wave Rider 20s are a much better shoe than the 19s that I had last year. They just feel more comfortable. Um, cruisy to run in. I did four and a half, five k session in them, running grass, running bitumen, running dirt, and I think they are an amazing shoe. Absolutely sensational. I kind of had an idea that I was going to stick with Mizuno. Um, I'd looked at a few different brands last year when I was buying the Wave Rider 19s. And the Wave Rider 19s in the Mizuno range just seem to be more comfortable for my foot type. A little bit of bitumen, but not a lot, so I needed a, a hard wearing sole. Um, I found the Wave Rider 19s good for sort of all ground conditions. So I, I, you know, last year I did some beach running, I did some bitumen running, I did some grass running. I did some dirt track running and they held up well, although the uppers, I did find the upper get holes in them towards the end of the year. So obviously from where my foot would rub near the pinky toe and the big toe, they kind of wore through. So I'm hoping the Wave Rider 20s are a little bit stronger. I suppose you need to go and test them out for yourself, but I rate the Wave Runner 20s as better than the Wave Rider 19s. I really like the color. So the, the dark gray into black, they're a stylish shoe, um, very, very traditional, but I really like them. So thumbs up for the Wave Rider 20s. Uh, just make sure they suit your foot type, but uh, I found the comfortability if that's a word, comfortability, uh, the support, and just the overall feeling you get when you run. I, I really like 